Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. Back again with my good friend Sherman. So, uh, he actually had this one on the shelf and it was covered in dust. <laughs> and this is one of those whiskeys that I've been eyeing on the shelf and that I've seen for probably the last year on social medias that I've really wanted to try. I just, I didn't want to. Yeah. You took the chance that I didn't and you bought a bottle. <laughs> so, this is a Rabbit Hole Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, from what I hear, this is a sourced whiskey, because we if you read the back, read the whole label. Always read the label. Yeah. Like if, you, if it's a new bottle, just turn it around. Just read every little thing on the label. Because mm -hmm. you'll get to the back, and it says, bottled by Rabbit Hole Distillery, Louisville, Kentucky, matured over three years in new chartered American barrels. Mm -hmm. Well, new chartered American oak barrels. Yeah. So, with that, with just that that little bit of information, you can surmise that they don't distill their own product. Mm -hmm. It's sourced, obviously, uh, and it's younger than four years old. Yeah, which it doesn't really mean anything. Like one thing I, I've gotten away from is older is better. Yeah. Older is better, or more expensive is better, is not true at all. Um, older is just older, yeah. and more expensive is just more expensive. Because yeah. there's a lot of whiskeys coming out nowadays in Texas mm -hmm. that are incredibly young, but incredibly flavorful, and a little more pocket friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you just kind of do your own research. Yeah. But this one says it's a four grain, four grain bourbon of astonishing depth and maturity, always non-chill filtered, which I really like. Non-chill filtered, it kind of gives it a, it kind of gives it a creamier, more oily texture. Okay. So uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, folks, <laughs> my opinion, uh, non-chill filtering it allows a really good, uh, really good whiskey to last. The finish lasts a lot longer. Okay. So those flavors keep coming back. It makes your mouth just salivate. Yeah. And just the flavors just are, are just returning every uh, every couple seconds. So I don't know. There's not really much information on this. So yeah. uh, 2017 double gold. What does it say inside the little thing there? Does it have any info? So, traditional whiskey making in a modern setting in the heart of Bourbon Country's most creative district, Louisville, Kentucky. So, I don't know, man. They're 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 picking barrels more than likely from somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, Louisville, Kentucky is home to several different distilleries. So, after we taste it, I might be able to. It's a four grain. So I don't know of. I don't know of any other, off the top of my head, I don't know of another four grain bourbon that is coming out of Kentucky right now that comes from an older distillery like Woodford or mm -hmm. uh, Jim Beam or uh, I think Evan Williams is in Louisville. Uh, Evan Hill is uh, Bardstown, I think. I don't remember. But anyway. I don't know of another big time four grain bourbon that's coming out of that area. And I might already know it, but I just don't realize it's a four grain. Yeah. So, do you know what they mean by four grain? Four grains. I mean. Do you know what the fourth grain might be? The fourth grain, let's see. So it doesn't tell us, but what do you think it might be? Well, barley is one of them, right? Barley. Wheat. Well, wheat is. Barley, wheat, uh, oat, oats. Well, Woodford does an oat grain. Okay. But this one more than likely is like corn, rye, wheat, and barley. Okay. Uh, most four grains are those four specific. Uh, I'm gonna say like 95% of most bourbons, most bourbons, I'm not saying all, most, are uh, corn, you know, 51% mm -hmm. corn, mm -hmm. uh, corn, rye, to get that little spice, mm -hmm. and barley just to help with the process. Mm -hmm. The barley just, it helps the uh, the alcohol process 
a lot quicker. Okay. So, but let's see how she goes. Hmm. It's light on the nose. Very to me. light. Hmm. Very light, and just kind of it just kind of smells like alcohol. Yeah, alcoholy, but there's a little bit of caramel vanilla, a light caramel vanilla, yeah. some type of. Now proof, that, maybe uh, this one is uh, bottled at 95 proof, so it's a little higher proof, which I'm a fan of, mm -hmm. but because I think the higher the proof, the, the more flavor you get. You said this is how much? 95. Proof? 95. Okay. Yeah, that nose is real light. Like you have to almost stick your whole nose in the mm -hmm. Glen Karen to get something out, but. The flavors are kind of light as well mm -hmm. on the palate. It kind of has, yeah. It has a, it has an Evan Williams texture. Have you ever, do you have any Evan Williams? Yeah, I have some Evan Williams, and it hasn't been yeah, opened. You ain't gotta get it. No, oh, there it is. Right there. Yeah. Uh, but my buddy Josh, he uh, he brought some Evan Williams over one day, and. Uh, Pretty good stuff. I liked it. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a good drinker. Before a lot of people. Uh, so it says distilled in Old Illinois Distillery, Bardstown, Kentucky. But I know they got a uh, they've got some kind of either a, like a, a visitor center or some kind of guest center or whatever mm -hmm. in uh, Louisville, I believe. But it kind of has that. It has a very similar characteristic. Okay. That I'm getting, like that I used to get from the other one. What's the proof on this? Uh, oh, that one's lower. It's like 86. 86. Okay. Yeah, 86.6. Okay. But Evan Williams is the same mash bill as Henry McKenna, your old Mac 10. Ah. But the difference in the Evan Williams is pretty sure. I should say. It. They actually, I think they actually charcoal filtered this one okay. after the uh, aging process. Mm -hmm. So they dump the barrels, whereas like uh, your Jack Daniels, mm -hmm. they charcoal filter it prior to the aging process, to mm -hmm. prior to barreling. Uh, you got companies like uh, Evan Williams and Ezra Brooks that filter it after. Okay. So uh, it's not bad. It's not. It's bad. It's, it's, it's it's good stuff. I don't know if I would, uh, I don't know if I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably would, just off the, the taste that I'm getting off of this one, I will probably pass this up on the shelf. Yeah, I wouldn't buy another bottle. There's so many more mm -hmm. that I would spend that kind of money on other than, but I mean, I don't know, that the taste profile just doesn't, I, I, 95 proof, I don't know. Maybe I was looking for a little bit more. There were some 90 proofs that were had more pop and, and were on the nose, just off the nose were. If you want a really good four grain bourbon that came that comes from Texas, uh Tawakara, Tawakara. Mm -hmm. Check theirs out. They got like a canteen, like an old old school canteen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the shape of the bottle. It's flat. And then it's rounded on the side. Didn't you go to their distillery or something yeah. like that? Yeah, I saw the video where yeah, you were. That looked pretty cool. I'm actually, uh, I'm gonna kind of start doing part-time work for them. Oh, okay. So cool. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. And they're out of uh, Louisville. Uh, it's near. It's in Grapevine. Grapevine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, they they got a really good product. I okay. really like them. You know, uh, I think they're going places. Okay. I'm gonna jump on that train. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you, man. But. Like yeah, the, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling this one, man. <laughs> I'm not uh, head over heels for it by yeah. any means. Uh, it was fun to try it and, you know, probably finish it off just to say I tried it, but probably wouldn't buy another bottle. I think I think it could use a little more time in the barrel. Yeah, that you can definitely taste the three years yeah. that it's the, the youngness of the yeah. of the, the bourbon definitely. I'd say that's that's the big difference between three years in Kentucky and three years in Texas. Yeah. Three years in Texas, it would you're gonna have <laughs> it grew some nuts pretty yeah, quick. You, yeah, you're gonna have tons <laughs> of flavor, whereas three years in Kentucky, yeah. 
it's it's just starting to come into its yeah, own. Yeah. I mean, like Booker's, that's six years old mm -hmm. and it's just bursting with flavor. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm. I, I think I'll have to pass on yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to agree with me, Sherman. I, I'm not agreeing with you. Either. I'm just that's a little too young for me. Yeah. I, what I, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna try. So you're to, saying three year olds are too young for you? <laughs> no, man. I don't get down like that. <laughs> but uh, now I, I will. What I am gonna do with this rabbit hole is I'm gonna try a few different drinks with it to see if it's a good mixer. Yeah. It could very well be a good old fashioned maker. Or uh, it could. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna get some good use out of it before I just write it off. And there's uh, something else you can do. Um, so I had a friend or I had a guy in Houston, Mike, send me uh, roasted pieces of different types of oak. Mm -hmm. Like you can actually take those pieces and throw them inside a bottle uh -huh. for a few weeks, especially out here in your uh, in your shop. Yeah. It's not really climate controlled, so it, yeah. it'll it'll get affected, mm -hmm. and it'll actually help probably improve the flavor of that whiskey. That would be a good little test to do on something that I'm just not real fond of. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if it messed it up. Well, they, they have uh, on Amazon, you can order toasted or charred mm -hmm. oak spirals. Like uh, they already, they, there's bottles on the shelf where you see them. Mm -hmm. You just drop them in the bottle and it'll help finish it leave it in there for about two weeks out yeah. here and it'll give it more of that oaky barrel yeah. presence. That would be pretty cool. Now that you want to try it. Yeah. Right. Good to you. Anyway, right. I think that's all we got on this one. Uh, rabbit hole, I think you can do better. Definitely. Yeah. So That's all we got. Uh, don't forget, check the description below for all the links to help out with the bills. Like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget, check out the Bearded Idiots, like always. Drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink a drive. Take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers. And see. All right.